Hi guys, so this has to be one of the most dramatic events in the House of Lords for years. Lord Agnew, a Treasury Minister, read out his statement and walked out. He delivered his resignation speech in response to a question that came from the Labour side about £4.3 billion of loans written off by the Treasury during the pandemic. Let's hear what he had to say. I think any Prime Minister should be able to reasonably expect that the levers of government were actually connected to delivering services for our citizens. I hope that as a virtually unknown minister beyond this place, giving up my career might prompt others more important than me to get behind this and sort it out. It matters for all the obvious reasons, but there is a penny of income tax waiting to be claimed here if we just woke up. Total fraud loss across government is estimated at 29 billion a year. Of course, not all can be stopped, but a combination of arrogance, indolence and ignorance freezes the government machine. Action taken today will give this government a sporting chance of cutting income tax before a likely May 2024 election. If my removal helps that to happen, it would have been worth it. So it leaves me only to thank the noble Lord, Lord Tunnicliffe, for his courteous but attentive role as my shadow minister of my portfolio, and to thank noble friends, many of whom I know will carry on their scrutiny of this important area. Thank you and goodbye. Wow, so what was that all about? Well, Rishi Sunak, the Chancellor, recently said that billions in loans given out during the pandemic would be written off. The figure given was £4.5 billion. But it seems a bit more complicated than that. Boris Johnson's government has always stood behind the excuse that there will always be a trade-off between due diligence on the pandemic rescue loans and getting the £72 billion of cash into the bank accounts of businesses. The government made a decision to prioritise speed in good conscience, as the ministers put it. Because of this, the process that would have taken months instead took mere days. However, while the losses are something that's been picked up in headlines, the scale is mind-blowing. It's expected to top £20 billion, mainly on bounce-back loans. Of these, about £4 billion will be written off due to fraud. This has led to the highly public exit of the minister you just witnessed. A big problem with these bounce back loans was that over a thousand businesses that are not even trading received them. At the moment, the banks that operated the scheme for the government are looking at how to account for these loans in their full year results. Over 20% of the one billion pounds given to banks by the taxpayer has so far been for fraudulent loans. This is what the House of Lords was told. The winners here seem to be those who received the loans and the banks, as the latter will invest little in seeking payment as they can just claim it from the taxpayer. The most Boris Johnson's government can do is plead with the banks to ask for the money to be repaid, but the damage has already been done. The way these loans were given out smells a bit like Brexit, move fast and break things, then in a few months time try to pick up the pieces. Once again, the taxpayer is on the receiving end of the reckless behaviour by the Tory party. At least this Tory had the decency to resign, unlike other senior cabinet figures. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.